Hey guys, it's Gigi. So I wish today's video was not true. I was bombarded with tweets and Instagrams about the new YouTube restriction. I had seen a few articles about it, but you never know with these kind of articles. So I just was gonna wait it out. But today, the tweets and everything really did not stop. I was literally just watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, like a normal Sunday lazy day, and I couldn't help but make this video. I'm actually gonna take this one outside because it's such a beautiful day out today. Okay, so. I was laying in bed and my girlfriend was like, wow, have you like heard about all of this stuff about the YouTube restriction? She pulled up my channel, she went into the settings and she turned the restriction on. And we went to my channel and it was basically just beauty videos and you know, monthly favorites and things like that. Nothing personal, no story times, none of my videos talking about my gender or my sexual orientation or anything like that. And I just was like, oh my God. And then she went back and she turned the restriction off and every video I've ever made was there. So that was kind of like the, oh my God, it is real and I don't know how long this has been going on for. I did do a little bit more research and nobody really knows when it started, which is really scary. And at the end of the day, it kind of makes us, the LGBTQ community, look bad. You know, and I know that's not what they're trying to do, that's not what they've ever tried to do, but it really does. And it's scary on so many levels because I know when I was younger, YouTube was my family, YouTube was the place where I found a community of people that understood what I was going through and agreed with things that I, you know, opinions I had and things I was going through in my life. YouTube has always been a place where you can find someone just like you. And now, given that you can just turn on one button and the entire LGBTQ community can be taken away from you is really, really sad. And you know, I know tons of my viewers are really, really young. And you know, I know that because I've met you and I've talked to your parents and some restrictions may be put on your accounts, which is not an unfair thing to do, but it's unfair to put us in that category. I'm not making porn. I'm not doing anything that's absurdly wrong. I'm not doing anything that should be blocked. I think at the end of the day, the young people are who need the LGBTQ education most. And, and I use the term education really, really broadly because at the end of the day, stories are what educates. So someone's coming out video is what a 10, 11, 12 year old or younger might need to see. That video might be the ultimate tipping point for them in their transition, in their gender identity, in them becoming the best person that they can be. And I really do think that this YouTube restriction stops a lot of people from being their authentic self. And it kills me to say because YouTube has been my home for so many years and I just put out a mother effing movie with them. So, you know, it really breaks my heart because I know a lot of people are gonna be affected by this and not in a good way. And what makes it even more scary for me is that it kind of mirrors what's going on in politics right now. A bunch of things have been taken away from our community already and this is just kind of like another blow, which I didn't think would happen or could happen, but it is and it's very scary and I just, I really hope that enough people are making videos like this, sharing what they believe in and having their voices heard. I don't know if this video is gonna be restricted. Um, I really hope it's not. Hopefully we can get this restriction lifted because it doesn't make sense to me and I don't think that it's right. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments and those were my thoughts. So until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.